smoke-filled rooms, sleepless nights, deception, and also many hard-boiled monologues. The stuff of any great mystery story. The stakes are high, and we are good at what we do. But then poor old Penultimo had a visitor that changed the rules of the game. Yes. I was a fool to think that a story such as this can unfold without a femme fatale involved somewhere. The name like that for a mission, Feminine Ways, I definitely expect President a reference or I two towards Game of Gate. an exotic woman, and this time she isn't a figment of my imagination. Anyway, she claims to know who has the toucan. Oh, well, we might meet the toucan once and for all. Apparently, a tourist will soon come to the island. She claims it is certain that he will come if we have enough accommodations. We've got to have uh, five hotels. All right, so we start off in the same city as we did before. Uh, Isla Lagarda, I think it was called. Let's go ahead and start researching oil first, though, so we can make some more money. Then I'm going to go with constitution options. Then I'm just going to go with, let's see... Pretty much whatever I think. Maybe manager skills for entertainment. You know what? We'll go with that. But the reason I'm just choosing anything, I really need just oil and that's about it. And constitution options. But then, oh, no, we don't want that. I need the peaceful atom. So that way we're able to exploit the uranium. So we're able to build a nuclear power plant. And that is what I really need. So um, we need to research four more technologies before we're even able to get that. So let's go with, let's see. No, we'll go with the supermarket, and then we should be able to go with the peaceful atom. All right. So, now that we've got that going, I really need to improve my happiness. And so that means I've got to check out my almanac. And we need to improve entertainment, um, healthcare quite a bit, uh, but mainly housing and liberty, and religion as well. So I think what I'm going to choose to do is improve liberty first off, and a little bit of... Health as well. Message for you. The times are changing, and it's cold war time, people. Well, I don't know what that means, but it's always hot here on tropical, so I guess we'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, because it's always hot in tropico. Hopefully, we all survive the cold war. That's um very wishful thinking, though. But let's go ahead and connect these roads up. Yeah, right, that'll have to do. Like so. And what I also want to do is I'm going to build my... Because it seems like this mission is going to be based on tourism. I'm going to build my tourism hub right up around over here. Even though there is a bit of oil, I still don't want the um, tourism to be too far away from the main island. I mean, maybe we can start exploiting a different part of the island. But I just want it to be rather close so we can actually get our builders to drive up there. What I'm also going to do is go to Edicts, and in the Cold War, you unlock the Geological Survey. Cost $10,000, but it increases the amount of iron, bauxite, coal, iron, um, uranium, and gold uh, in all non-depleted deposits. So that gives you about, I think, 20000 or so extra ore. It gives you a certain amount. I don't think it's 20000 but around that. So let's go issue that. Now that we've done that, this guy didn't have much, but now he's got 6,000 uranium left. What I'm also able to do is modernize. We'll just modernize him. You can modernize all or whatever. But also, once you've modernized the mine, you're able to use Rock Breaker, which increases the available amount of resources in the deposit by 20,000 units. So you're pretty much able to get a double boost, which is very nice. And 20,000, I guess that's where I was getting the 20,000 from. Uh, but having a boost of ore is always nice so in the meantime this ship's just about to come in let's speed things up so we can make that money right away um let's see we've already built that clinic which is nice um hopefully we'll have a bit more people coming in very shortly um so now that we've done that i think it's about time that we started to build a newspaper i can't actually build a tv station because that requires electricity and that's why i need that uranium mine um Although, we are able to go ahead and build the where are we, power plant um, to get coal and natural gas, but I'd rather just build the one uranium mine and leave it at that. So, let's go back to Welfare and Media, and I want to build a newspaper, and we need to increase Liberty right up around here. 
Now also, we do have one newspaper from memory, which is, let's see where that is. That should be over here. Now how are we able to upgrade it? Um, the required education of workers is reduced to high school. That could be useful. So I'll upgrade that and paid ads also so we can make a little bit of money. That doesn't sound too bad at all. Now, what else do I need to do? I'm just waiting up on the ability to um, exploit the oil. So what I'm going to do is build a road up here. And we're going to build it up around over here. Make it an a circle around our island there we go something like so and then we're going to connect it up somewhere up over here let's see where would it make the most sense can't really build three buildings though can we um all right that'll do even though there's two intersections very close to each other that'll be all right so now that we've got that done i need to also most likely let's just check out almanac I'm tempted to build another high school so we're able to get some more um, people that are enlightened. Uh, also, I need to upgrade all my housing. Um, there's a fair few homeless people, so we don't want that. Uh, media buildings, that should improve, and religion as well. So a cathedral wouldn't go too far astray. So let's have a good hard look. Also, I should be able to upgrade these buildings as well. Um, modernize all, yes. You know what? I'm very tempted to do that. Let's go do that. And they actually get modernized immediately, which is nice. We're able to get effectiveness is increased by 10. And job quality is increased by 10. And we'll do that over here as well. All right. A quick couple hundred dollars, but hopefully they'll improve their jobs, which will increase our happiness overall. And I don't want to be losing elections. That is one crappy way to lose in the game because elections just come out out of the spur of the moment. Um, you definitely don't want to be losing elections, that's for certain. So, apart from that, we just need more high school workers, it seems like, because look, we've got a couple of um, spare positions. So if I go to a My Economy, check out the unemployed. It's mainly just grade school people and illiterate people. So we need to um, get those illiterate people to become educated so we can fill up those open high school jobs. So what I'm going to do is go to Education. Jeez, we made a lot of money in that shipment. Ah, oh, caramba. All right, so we're going to get a welfare and media. No, we're not. We're going to get a research and education. I was just there. And we are going to go and place a school. Now, this is my problem with Tropico, at least like the way that I play, is I place buildings so ugly. Like this city has almost no logic behind it. It's just buildings placed wherever they can be placed. Um, what I'm going to do though is, I thought I did modernize all, I guess not. Oh, maybe that's because these two are llamas, whereas this one is a goat farm. Okay. Uh, what does this do? Each nearby plantation. Okay, we do have nearby plantations. One thing that I wish that Tropico did have is the area of influence, say, of a clinic. Because you do need to place the clinics within... they. Like, all buildings have an area of influence, but it doesn't show you where the area of influence is. Really, it only shows you for electricity buildings, so power plants and all that. It shows you the area that they power up. But So, it doesn't show you the area of influence between the clinic and, say, a hospital. So, you can see just how advantageous a hospital is. Is unfortunate, but anyways. Uh, We've discovered that. the mineral oil, which can be processed. Beautiful. That's what I like to hear. So now that means we are able to exploit the living Icarumba out of the oil. So let's go do that. Um, we want to place an oil well here. And I also place an oil well up over here. Um, I also exploit that gold. And we want to go oil well. Okay. Now what we're going to do is build roads. What I'm actually going to do there first is no off. tomorrow without me. Okay. Um, I don't want that. I want to press the delete button. What is it? Is it? It's because backspace goes to our leader. Okay, I'll just have to do it the old-fashioned way. Go demolish like this. I remember in Tropico 4, at least, there was a hotkey that enabled you to do all of that. But maybe it's D. No, it's not. Okay. Anyway, what I'm going to do is build up a road like so. That's perfect. I'm also going to build up a road over here. Something like so. 
gonna connect this mine up and we're gonna also connect this up like so okay I'm also gonna exploit that uranium once we are able to we do have I think only one uranium deposit so we do need to make the most out of that now we only have 52% happiness so let's just check out what else can we do to improve uh, both housing and religion as well as entertainment also food is dropping down quite drastically so what i'm going to do is go to my groceries and improve that there president a new trend is sweeping the world condescending tourism people like to visit oppressed countries and lament how oppressed they are it sure sounds like fun i wish i could go on a vacation like that maybe with a special lady <laughs> We should exploit this trend immediately. Our people should be the most oppressed, liberty-free, low lives the world has ever seen. For the greater good and profits. Uh, now, this mission, I have already played it through because I don't want to look like too much of a noob when I play these, um, when I record these videos. Um, so you guys are completely bored and obliterated in your minds by just how silly I can be at times, so. I actually have a rough idea of what we're supposed to do. But this mission takes the piss out of, like, the sex tourism in Thailand and just tourism in general. It is pretty funny, this, um, the dialogue. Although, I must say, the gameplay in this is very repetitive. Very, very repetitive. Um, but, I mean, it's still a good old Tropico, but it's just incredibly repetitive. Now, what is the problem over here, folks? Building is not producing. You've got people... I actually probably need to build a couple of houses over here. But what I'm going to do instead of that, I'm going to go over here, upgrade and modernize all. There we go. Now all these buildings are modernized. I'm going to have to also build up a couple more tenements. But I think that's going to have to wait for another shipment. Yeah, it definitely will have to wait for another shipment. So, how's our high school going? Only 3 out of 15 students, so... Let's check out the other high schools then. It's got 9 out of 15 and 12 out of 15. Okay. Because both of them were pretty much maxed out. But um, I guess with more people coming in, it'll improve. Jeez, we're only at 48% happiness. So what that means is I must... Let's go back to the almanac. Alright, so I think I better start exploiting this um entertainment. What I'll also do is I'll also upgrade... The taverns, restaurants, and nightclubs in the vicinity is increased by 10 based on effectiveness. There we go. So I've done that. Let's go just to basic entertainment and build a couple of taverns just about. Especially where there's a lot of people. Um, let's see. Probably, I might even be able to build a apartment right over here. No, that's not good. So I'll just demolish those houses with some taverns up around here. Maybe a restaurant or two as well. If we're able to squeeze it in, which it does not seem like I am able to. So what I'll do is build another tavern. If we're able to do that. Oh, we are. Okay. Uh, now, let's start building some more houses as well. Because the people don't seem to be too happy. And El Presidente want... Oh, no. I actually didn't want that. I need the apartments, not the tenements. Oh, am I not silly at times. Right, and what I also do is build a lot of these guys up over here. And maybe one over here. Right, and we'll leave it at that. Wait for another shipment to come by. And we might even quick build those buildings. We'll have to wait and see. Right, what I will do is put the taverns up on high construction priority so they get built first. Now, I'm actually not really going ahead and doing this um, main mission because there's no real need. I just need to go ahead and um, make sure um, our people are going to be happy. Which we should be doing alright with. Here we go, 16,000. That will cover some of our costs. Also, maybe I could start inviting some foreign workers. Let's go start doing that as well because I do need those people to be high school educated. I need more of them. So I might as well start importing some of them. Because I also needed we new Teamsters office. Alright, so now that we've got, unlocked the Cold War Constitution options, we're going to go with, let's see, 
Reduce liberty, assassination, and no, we definitely don't want to assassinate and banish people. Police discovers special citizens. No, not really. I want high liberty. That sounds good. Now, let's have a look. Buildings with managers gain 10 bonus effectiveness. Or bid budget impact. No, we're going to go with that. And media requires higher budgets. Journalists convert voters for your cause. That sounds good. Or media provides more liberty. No. Because I can build more media buildings, which increases liberty. But I need people to vote for me. I definitely don't want to lose an election. Elections like are said. coming, Presidente. As our... And this is, we just say that, and they have just come on board those elections. Thankfully, we're at 50... Oh, we we're at 55% and they dropped all the way back down, which is no good. So, we're going to do that. Build a couple more houses out and about. Jeez, it's uh, looking very, very... um. Well, we're developing a lot of things. There's a lot of cranes. It's uh, pretty much a rainforest of cranes, really. Which is what we like to see being an infrastructure prime minister as our, as our own prime minister in Australia would say. Wants to be seen as the infrastructure prime minister of Australia. Goes ahead and um, destroys any chance of the national broadband network being built. That's some marvellous logic there, but seems to want to build infrastructure of the uh, 20th century. Instead of the good old 21st century. All right, we're back down to 49. Oh, 50 percent. Okay, so it's going to go back and forth, I guess. Um, what I'll do is just check my almanac once more. Um, food has dropped down so much. Jeez, that's not good. I guess because these guys aren't producing, and I wonder why they're not producing. Um, not because they're full is it it's no way because they're full it's because they don't, aren't getting enough corn i think that's exactly why i think i might have to build some more corn i think that sounds like a pretty great idea um also that'll give those uneducated people some thing to do I'll just turn this around the right way. Something like so. That should be good. All right, we're back to winning as well. 51%. Five months to go. Which is good news to me. Music to my ears, really. Really need to improve the amount of food that we're getting to people, though. Because it is quite lackluster at the moment. I'll also go build another plantation of pineapples. And I'll place that... Over here. Alright. I don't know if any of you guys have been watching E3, but Anno 2070 got announced. Or not Anno 2070. It's called Anno 2205, I think. Because in Anno, all of the additions add up to 9. Like the year, year adds up to 9. The digits in the year. So 2070, 2 plus 7 equals 9, obviously. We have so. an opportunity to influence the outcome of coming elections. No election fraud happening over here. We like to win legitimately. We're making a lot of money with the shipments. Hopefully there will be a little bit more once um, that oil starts getting delivered, which should be soon. We've got a Teamsters office. Lots of people there. Jeez, it was only 51% that we won by. Very close to us losing. Uh, but that should keep us there for the next couple of years, which is good. Or keep us in power. Um, all of that's upgraded, which is nice. I definitely need corn. That's obviously the problem. So, with a new farm or two, we should be all right. I'm not going to start building the hotels just yet. You know what? We might as well. Because they actually don't require all that um, ah, specialized hotels. I miss the jolly old days when the little people knew their proper places and respected their superiors up to the Lord himself. <laughs> No, we are not prohibiting alcohol. The U.S. want to stash some of their missiles here in Tropico. Sounds awful if you're familiar. In order to avoid suspicion, they suggest we hide the rockets in waste treatment plants. Not the brightest plan I've heard, 
but you can only expect so much from those Yankees. Alright, so I don't think we're going to actually complete that mission, but I'll just accept it. Now uh, that we've got all that done, uh, we've pretty much built all the tenements. Here we go. There's a couple being built here and there. 57% happiness now. That's improving. Now, with the um, food options as well, that'll improve drastically. So, it's about time with $99,000 in our stash. Let's go ahead and uh, build something for these tourists, for the mission. So, let's have a look. Now, the reason I'm building like this is because the closer you are to the coast, the greater the beauty is. And that Remember that helps us out so let's go have a look at tourism uh, i'm gonna go with a couple cabana villages so uh, as you can see the closer you are to the coast the better it is it's more green whereas pretty much our whole island is yellow so it's not the best you want to place it right on the greenery makes the most sense i'll build a couple cabana villages they should be nice and easy to build Also build, you know what, an economy hotel. Because why not? Uneven terrain, there we go. And that means I need one more, so we'll go with a family resort. Oh, doesn't really matter what we place them like. Um, I'm just going to build five random hotels there, and that should be all right. Builders are going to take their sweet time building that, though. Let's check out what's happened over here. So entertainment has increased a little. Food has increased a little as well with the corn and pineapple will improve a lot more. Um, healthcare, I probably could do a little bit more with. Housing also. Um, thankfully, you are improving the situation there though. But All right, so next up, religion. Religion. Right. So, do you have a church there? I'll give it community aid because there's a lot of houses around. Now, the reason I need electricity as well is that it will improve housing by quite a bit because we'll be able to electrify those buildings, which will increase housing quality by 15. Now, that sounds pretty great to me. It'll take a little while though to do that. Um, place this on high construction priority and also the pineapple as well. Uh, seems like we do have people working here. But no one yet on the pineapple, but that's all right with me. All right, I think we're pretty safe. We are pretty safe with what we are up to. So now that we've got the hotels working, attempt to actually quick build some of them. Because most of them are cabanas as well, it won't take all that long. So, and it won't cost all that much either. So you know what, let's just keep it doing that. And the economy hotel, I'll also quick build that because why not, right? That's that mission done. Helps us get through a little bit quicker, which is nice as well. Now, the police blimps are something brand new in this expansion, the espionage expansion. So, uh, let's get on top of that, police blimps. But I also want to build a radar. The reason is because it um, protects against any enemy espionage actions. So, that stops the enemy espionage, the spies... Uh, from destroying random buildings, which is useful, but also generates research points. So it enables us to go get that nuclear research function happening a little bit quicker, hopefully. Um, but let's see. You know what? I'm actually going to save up for the time. Presidente, being. the tourist has arrived and has decided to spend his days in Tropico, according to my charming and beautiful informer. Oh, she is so beautiful. <laughs> she, uh, where was I? Yeah, we must find her. Him, him, we must find him. Everyone is suspect. <laughs> all right. I've marked all male citizens as potential um, suspects. We must find out who the real owner of the toucan is. All right. I'm just confused. Where did where did the he turn into a sh him? Presidente, the tourist has arrived and according to my charming and beautiful informer, has decided to spend his days in Tropico. Dreamily. She is so pretty. Where was I? Where, we must find her. Him. We must find him. Uh, I, I guess that's a um, play on the tradie, uh, the ladyboys or whatever they're called in Thailand, I think. 
which is very amusing. All right, let's go ahead and also upgrade these oil wells with fracking posts. Effectiveness is increased by 20, um, as well as over here as well. So that way we're able to make a little bit more money a little bit quicker. And look at that happiness rating. 60% is very, very nice to me. So, President, the tourist has arrived. We need to sift through the citizens. They don't actually tell us how to do that just yet, but they will very shortly. So I also want to keep on building up my um, entertainment of the people. So build a restaurant here. Restaurants. Let's see. Where else can we build it? Restaurant there. We'll also build a tavern there if we're able to. No. Oh, we can build it here though. Build that there. Um, let's build another tavern. Somewhere where we will be at. <laughs> Behind the school. No. Um, hmm. Oh. Just plop a couple down. Just to give us some uh, higher entertainment ratings. Because that's what I really need. Alright. We've got... I'd say, let's see, one, two, three, four. I can see four teams as officers. So that's quite a bit that we've got. Definitely quite a bit. Right. Oh, let's also upgrade the selective breeding there, as well as. Well, we don't really have any pineapple plantations left, so. Well, let's check out food. Food should increase. So, anyway, thankfully these guys are working out because they're getting corn in there. So that's very good. Very, very nice. Um, also, we do have a couple of homeless people here. So we might be able to stop that. Let's have a look. No. You know what? I'm trying to build like a mansion or something. But that gets affected by the beauty of the area, so... It's not, none of these areas are all that beautiful though, are they? No, indeed they are not. Alright, so let's keep on doing that. Um, I want to start building those police blimps. So let's go to espionage and police blimp one, police blimp two, police blimp three. Alright, now these police blimps are actually pretty cool. Um, you can actually move them around yourself. You can control them. Which is something very different. Here we go. 50,000. Are we going to get another delivery or two in here? Maybe. No, it doesn't seem like it. But there's a lot of money though. That we're making. So I can't really complain about that. Uh, what else can I upgrade? Okay. I need electricity there. So what else am I going to do? I am going to go ahead and... You know what? Let's build that radar. So I'm going to build an observatory. Because that gives us a lot more research points. You know what? You can't, you can't um, just build one. You can also build the observatory as well. So let's go do that. Uh, generates research points. Effectiveness is improved if placed on a higher terrain. So I'll place that there because this is obviously up on a hill. So not all that high, but it'll do. And I'll just leave that there, waiting for the people to um build that themselves. Tropicans now. like to drive. Why don't we take that away from them? Cover the whole island with security checkpoints until no one can drive. Then they will feel my pain for not hearing from my soulmate for so long. I feel you there, Penultimo. We will also be able to identify the one with the toucan. It's a win-win. Have three security checkpoints. Um, security checkpoints will reduce the number of suspects on the island. We've definitely beat the three. That's for certain. We got ten. But wasn't that like a requirement previously? To have like a fair amount of security checkpoints? So, seems a bit redundant. But that's um, dropped the amount of suspects by what? A hundred or so? So, <laughs> it's not like we need to actually click through every male citizen. Like Gaston Charles. It doesn't even give us an option to like, go sort through them. So, yeah. So yeah, this guy wants a little bit more healthcare, I guess. We'll start um, building hospitals as soon as I'm able to, which means that I need electricity to build hospitals. So 
Let's check out research. Not too long, actually. Which is good. Um, actually... Let's just start researching different things as well. Alright, and that's all modern time stuff. Alright. Oh, here we go. We do have the very first... Police blimp. Now, it keeps on making that ridiculous sound, that um, megaphone sound, which can get quite annoying. But what I'm going to do is just place it on... I'm going to place them in a triangular forma formation. These blimps, once they're all built. We're able to actually upgrade these, so we can have a political message. Convert to voters during elections. That's very useful. And a watchful eye. Prevent protests peacefully without blimp. I've got to give Calypso credit because... That's, um, so most of these unique buildings to the espionage expansion are actually quite useful. They're very different and they're very creative. I do enjoy the different abilities that they've got. I can imagine this being a lot more fun in the sandbox mode, which I am thinking about doing in the sandbox mode. We'll have to wait and see. Um, so, I guess we just need to wait up on these two more police blimps to be built up. Mr. President, according to my calculations, the tropical economy will reach the point of collapse unless you provide more opportunities for the rich to become richer. Sounds pretty good to me, so we might as well build a new bank, because why not? Generates interest rates on money in the treasury, and we've got a lot of money in the treasury, so... Almost $100,000. It'll be 100000 very soon, actually. Next time a ship comes in. Oh, literally. Oh, not a, not quite, but almost. Next time a ship comes in into this main dock that we've got, though, for certain. Alright. So now all we're doing is just waiting out for another mission to come our way. So what I... Well, President, we're also just waiting on... Well, actually, what I want to check is what's the difference between a grocery... And a supermarket. Let's go check that out. So that would be... What would it be? Obviously it's not there. Um, supermarket, supermarket. Where are we? Industry goods. Here we go. Somewhere here. Let's go. Where is it? Oh man, I know it's here somewhere. Well, obviously it is here somewhere, but I was looking at it not that long ago. Before. Got fast food joints. I don't remember that being there. I think that might be new as well. Maybe. Welfare, here we go. It's in welfare and media, that's for certain. Because that's where the grocery is, right? And um, the supermarket. Okay. Jeez, that was silly. It was obviously there. But it just did not click in my brain at all. As you can see, those uh, megaphone sounds can get quite jarring. There we go. We've got another mission. Presidente, this is taking too long. My one true love will not call me until I have the toucan. Oh, my cruel mistress. We need to speed things up. We should play it specially trained managers who are adept at starting innocuous conversations about toucans in our buildings. We will eliminate a lot of suspects that way. Objective, have 10 hide managers. Okay, so that's going to be pretty easy. Um, I'm going to actually place a magnate, that makes a lot more sense, on that oil building. There we go. Move this blimp up over here so we can triangulate the blimps. This guy actually moves really quickly as well. <laughs> Look at him go. I mean, I do know that I'm playing on sped up time, but still, it just looks ridiculous. Um, looks like housing is going to be another bit of a problem. Um, probably should get on top of that. So, actually, is my bank built? No, it's not. I'll wait up until my bank's built first. And let's keep on hiring more managers. I guess we've got a lot of agents, so... Not a bad thing. I'm not really going by, um... Like, the special abilities or anything. I'm just, like... Clicking away, really. Just to assign the um, managers. 
so it can complete the mission. So that's 10 done. So that's that done. And that's slowed the suspects to 171 now. Which is nice. Now, the next mission is... Well, because I already played this, so I know what it is. So, you know what we're going to do? We're going to build up security checkpoints. Now, security checkpoints is... Well, they want you to build security checkpoints... Um, and that reduces the amount of suspects by about, I don't know, I can't remember. I think it's like five or so at the start. And then once you build a certain amount, it goes back down to like three suspects. So you actually do need to build a lot of security checkpoints. So we're going completely overkill, but that is what they want us to do. You guys will see what I mean in a little bit. I might as well get the, um, start my construction workers off. Um, with a bit of a head start, right? Now, this is no joke, pretty much how much you need, but probably even a little bit more. I'll have to wait and see, though, how it'll all turn out. Now, here is the radar. This is a brand new building. Looking very nice. Makes an ungodly radar sound, but when you click it, which is amusing. Nonetheless, now how far are we off from that research? 42 months. We should be able to speed that up. I mean, what's going on with my library? Okay, we did lose someone there, I guess. This isn't even built, so we need to quick build that. We'll also now get the academ academic built, department. I expect my horoscope to become a touch more accurate. No offense, dear astrologers, but the last 20 times you said that I would find the love of my life turned out to be, well, just barely true. <laughs> After a short squabble, the Caribbean. Unfortunately, I'm not able to actually build any furniture. I never really exploit the wood in our, or the um, trees in our island. Never really appeals to me. Mr. Right. President, condescending tourism is so last Thursday. The new big thing is called miserable tourism. People just want to be miserable, not just at home, but in exotic parts of the world as well. We should exploit this. Museums are able to bore any sane living to the point of just wanting to run out and watch the grass grow. This should be punishment enough for those tourists. Have three museums to make tourists suffer as they like it. Alrighty. It gives us a 5 plus tourism rating for building three museums. And you know what? I think I'm just going to quick build those museums, really. Place those museums right over here as well. Let's go. One, two, three. Now, how's this um, bank going? Interest revenue, 549. And I guess it gives us a little bit more money. Ooh. Travel insurances. The bank generates revenue for each tourist on the island. That's pretty useful. Especially for a mission like this. President, tropicans talk, but who listens? Nobody. We are losing valuable information about this woman of my dreams by not sifting through private conversations. We may also hear something about the toucan. Maybe, maybe. All right, I checked and listening to your own people is okay. Some little countries in Europe have been experimenting with it since forever, and no one bats an eye. How true, Penultimo, unfortunately. Issue if they're Big Brother edicts. Let's get on top of that. So, um, To get the Big Brother edict, you actually need to do the secret police first, and then you're able to oh, do that. So there we go. Done. And now the suspects are down to 103. And now this is when the security checkpoints come into account. You actually make a heck of a lot of money through um, these security checkpoints in your Swiss slush fund. But thankfully these security checkpoints are uh, built very, very quickly as well. So it doesn't take too long at all to actually build it. Look at that. We've hit 800 people. Crazy, crazy stuff. How's our high school doing? The one that we just built. 15 out of 15. I guess that was a smart choice to build it. There's 15 out of 15 there and 15 out of 15 there. 150 people have graduated. Elections are coming, President. Right, now we 
do need to make sure that we win this election with the long shot because it's going back jesus it's going back down a lot um what could i do build some more entertainment healthcare that is definitely what i need to improve by a long shot so let's get on top of that before it becomes a problem Okay, quick build that, but I also need to build it up a couple more tenements. Oh, not tenements, sorry, apartments. And I'll quick build a nice amount of them. Just so that people are able to come in and uh, get to their new houses pretty much immediately. Alright, that should be good. Oh, what are these guys protesting about? A chap on the streets told me this. That's actually a marvelous idea. We actually do need to build a cathedral. So I'm going to do that right away. And I'll place it right next to the oil mine. Or oil drill. Because that's just a marvelous idea. Maybe they can get high on the oil. Right. Some people are protesting unhappy. Yes, no, they're not. So, now, this is a bit of a weird mission because you just click it and it doesn't really um, have anyone giving you any dialogue. It just says security checkpoints. New security checkpoints will lower the number of suspects. You currently have 24 security checkpoints. So, we want to keep on building these as quickly as we possibly can. We're down to 86 suspects. Oh, that's more than enough. That should lower it down to a fairly reasonable amount. We are doing fairly well in this election. We should win. I mean, it's not guaranteed yet, but... Let's see. Still too many deaths from poor healthcare. Oh, damn. Um, let's go have a look at where my healthcare... Business. Oh, Suffering tourism is becoming a greater hit every day, Mr. President. We are on to something. The worst thing I can possibly imagine is losing money. Even the thought makes me cringe. We should inflict that on the tourists. They will love it. Oh, where shineth thine eye so precious jewel? Needst thou also have to shred paperwork about banking accounts like me right now? Do you like it, Presidente? It is a love poem that I wrote. I added the extra THs, so it looks like older like bonnet. Or was it a sonnet? And <laughs> these foreigners sure do have weird words. Anyway, we should check up what other secrets our foreign friends are hiding. They may have any important information on love letters and people with two cans. Release the spies. Complete five spy missions successfully. Significantly decreases the number of suspects on the island now the spy missions also count as um uh, as stopping foreign spies from destroying your buildings and all increase the chance of success for steel technology and okay uh so what i'm going to do is go back over here espionage and we're going to steal money now that does count as a mission so that's more than enough 10 spies is quite a bit Oh, look at that. We've already completed a spy mission. That was that mission. Our intelligence service thwarted an espionage operation initiated by USA. That's why I've got that one mission completed already, as I just said. All right. So, we're doing pretty well. We should win this election. No problems, we unless there's a drastic influence the outcome of change, which there should not be. Just auto-saving right now. So, hopefully, if uh, something does happen, we can save ourselves but no we should be good we'll definitely be good 53 percent so oh god damn what is wrong with this food continuously no good how are we doing six more months the russians want to start formal diplomatic relations with you I'll give them 5,000 rum. Now, what is pretty cool is look at all these tourists. 
All these taxis. That's where the tourists are going. They go Not to these um. Has proclaimed eternal friendship between the USSR and Tropico. The bad news is I got kissed by at least two Russians. Get five college educated workers. What I really like is that these taxis are actually like it's a proper simulation. They're all going to the um, hotels, which is pretty cool. I think anyway. Uh, so I've pretty much built up all of these security checkpoints. All I really need to do is uh, complete these spy missions. That'll help me out a lot. Uh, we'll be very close to actually completing this um, then. Um, we're not making as much money as I would have liked, though. Has something been destroyed? I guess that gold mine, yeah, ran out of gold, or obviously. This guy really needs to get his stuff out of there. There we go, we stole some more money from the American Treasury. Oh, from America, and we added to our Treasury. Presidente, at least. I was doing some expect. And that is what we've been waiting for. So what I'm going to do is we are going to go to the infrastructure, nuclear power plants, and we're going to build that right there but what i'm also going to do is go right over here and go to raw resources automated mine build a mine up here i'm going to connect this road is it connected it should be like so and we're going to quick build this so we can get that quick smart and we're going to get rock breaker as well okay now that we're working on that so that should help us out a great deal these guys are going to build the nuclear power plant slowly but surely. You can take this sweet time doing that. That's alright. Oh, here we go. That got destroyed. Rebuild all. And also start inviting some more foreign workers so we can get some oil into here. Jeez, where are all these workers going? Let's go to our almanac and go jobs. Look at all those over jobs. Damn, we need like a lot more people here. That's for certain. Alright. Uh, maybe we could change our constitution to. Uh, where are we? See, so early retirement doesn't help us out, but what I'm going to do is open borders. Okay. That should help us out a little bit. Um, hopefully we won't be getting too many people. I probably also need to start building a lot more tenements and all, but... So I have to build like a hospital up over here. Let's go ahead and... Um, what am I going to do? Let's build a road through this farm. And also build a road. If only I could build it straight. Oh, God damn. There we go. Like so. So I am able to like build a hospital here and build up on more of these houses. That should help us out a fair amount. Alright, so we're back down to 22 suspects. So I guess that means I need to build up more of these guys. That's exactly what it means. So let's go back to espionage and security checkpoint. Build a couple up over here. I wonder if you guys can hear my dogs, my neighbor's dog, some neighbor's dog screaming in the background or barking in the background like crazy. Must be wanting to be let in. Hopefully you guys can't. Far away, but you never know with these microphones these days, how they pick things up. Pretty good. Almost looked like that was on the ground. But it is really cool how we can actually move these um, police blimps. You can actually move them out uh, over the ocean. Not too far away though. But you can move them out. Ooh. Foreign agents have destroyed that. What a bunch of bastards. So where's our blimp gone? There it is. So I can go pretty far out, which is really cool. I mean, there's no real need to do that, though. But, I mean, we can place over here on the high seas. It seems like there's a bit of piracy or something going on there. But we'll leave it as is for the time being. Not 
making anywhere near as much money as I thought I would be though, which is unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Um, I also would have thought I'd be making a lot more money. Let's go over here. It's all through corruption. That we're losing it. Um, how can you stop corruption? Like, what is a good way of stopping corruption? Maybe through police or something of the sort. Maybe, well, not through the bank. Hmm. Interesting. There's nothing over here that could um, help us out, though. Anyways. Um, so, what I'm waiting on is just these things to be built. So, let's go over here. Over here. Done on high construction priority. Completed something. I don't remember what it was, though. We're back up to 65% happiness rating as well, which is um, quite as surprising. I didn't expect that to be that, as high as it is, but... It'll probably drop right back down any moment now. Also exporting a bit of uranium, which I don't want to be doing, but... Also get Next rock breaker there. Oh, God. Tsunami. It was also sunny, and all of a sudden, look at this massive tsunami. Jeez. We're alive, Presidente. I didn't think we were. Oh. What? Where are you going? The big wave is this way. Surf the There's a crazy amount of buildings that just got destroyed. Mr. President, I don't think you're Alright. What are we? We're down to 10 suspects down to seven so yeah it's gone down by three you know what let's quick build a couple more five two all right quick build one and that should be it i i can't believe this how can she betray me so i finally met the love of my life and on top of that i had the toucan we went to her place to celebrate with some season named wine i don't remember the kind after which i woke up with the worst headache and no sign of either the toucan or her. I have been goofed, Presidente. I've failed you, but this betrayal has made me want to go all out. Presidente, I beg of you. I know we've said we shall never do this again around eight times already, but we have to do it one last time. To the time machine. <laughs> they sure do love their time machine, don't they? All right, so we won that mission. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed that. Until next time, though, I'll see you guys again for another episode of... I think we're about halfway through the campaign at um, Espionage, so. And I'll start uploading these um, missions just like in one episode. So until next time, though, guys, I'll see you again for mission number four.